Well, if you love using Eleven Labs as a way to transform text into speech, then I think you're going to like one model from Google and the name of the model is Gemini text to speech model. So it is available via AI Studio and in many ways, this model or this tool in general offers something more and even some features that do not exist in Eleven Labs. So in this video, I'm going to show you on how you can actually use this text to speech generation tool in AI Studio, some best practices and a few things that you can do when using this AI tool. So what you need to do now is to navigate to aistudio.google.com and if you are visiting this website for the first time, then you probably need to log into your Google account and then you have to give access to Google Drive because a lot of content or chats will be saved into your Google Drive account so you can revisit the content later in the future. Now after that, we'll see this interface and to use the text to speech model, you can click chat with models and then click audio. And then here, when I'm recording this video, there are two models that you can try. There is the 2.5 Pro and also the Flash version. They're actually quite similar, except the Pro version is a bit better, although that means the generation time is going to be a lot longer. So that's gonna be the model that I'm going to use. Now, you'll see an interface that look like this, and this is just one example that was provided by Google, so you can kind of get an idea on how the audio or the speech would sound when you're generating audio or speech using this AI tool. But let's start with something simpler. So I'm going to switch to a single speaker audio. And this is quite simple. It is quite easy to use. And let me show you how you can use it. So right here, there is a label that is a form or input for style instructions. This is actually one feature that I really like because this thing does not exist in 11 labs maybe there is a feature that is quite similar to this one in 11 but it is known it is known as audio text but even that is not quite consistent and not very descriptive but here you can describe the style or tonality in a plain english now in this case let's say i want to make the person to sound like australian accent so let me just write read aloud with strong australian accent so that's going to be the instruction that i'm going to use and this is where you can insert a text now I'm, I'm going to just use one example we just copy this and let's paste that right here now if you click this button you will see that there's an option for temperature this is more about how closely ai should be following the instruction and honestly i'm not going to be playing around with this because it can be quite inconsistent if you don't know what you are doing so i do recommend to just use the default setting now for the voice there are some voices that you can use and if you want to know what this voice actually sound like you can click this tiny play button what kind of problem could we solve okay so let me just try how about what kind this? of problem could we solve let me try this one. So it is not an Australian accent in my opinion. So let's see if AI can actually make that voice to be more like a real Australian person. So after that, you can click run and just wait for AI to turn this text into voice or speech in just a few seconds. Welcome back to Tech Market Insights. Today we're diving into the GPU landscape. The market has been wild lately. What's driving this? All right, yeah, I can attest that it is indeed an Australian accent. So this is the audio that was generated. And if you want to download the audio, you can click this button and then click download and you will get an audio file which later you can use on your video project whether it is on YouTube or TikTok it is up to you it is free to use and there is no audio watermark whatsoever it is just the content that you can generate and use for free now I think we're done talking about the single speaker audio let's talk about something that's a bit more complicated but in my opinion still quite simple and easy to use and that is the multi speaker audio so it is actually quite similar to the version 3 model in 11 labs but here 
uh, there are few things that you can do and also you can still control the style or tonality or accent by describing it right here so that's one in the feature that i highly recommend to try now here on the left side there is raw structure and honestly you don't have to worry too much about this this is actually information for developers and if you're not using it for developing an app or website then you can ignore this you just need to focus on this section this particular box so just ignore this and focus on this one now here i'm going to be using the same instruction again but uh, it's going to be british accent so read aloud in british accent there you go now i'm going to just delete this example i don't want to use it and i'm going to start adding a dialogue so i'm going to click this button so this is speaker one and if you don't want to call this as a speaker one then you can change the name to be let's say host and uh, later it's going to be okay no speakers listen to your script speakers name are also set in the right side part yeah ah uh, this is something that could happen i don't understand why when you are renaming the name of the voice and suddenly it's becoming the instruction i don't understand why it happened but perhaps it is a bug or a glitch but don't worry it is not something that we have to worry about just delete that and now we're back on track again now here for the first dialogue i'm going to just copy the first example let me just paste that right here and i'm going to add another dialogue and let's call this one guest okay yeah it keeps happening <laughs> yeah that's something that i don't understand why it keeps happening but well i guess that's some quirk that you need to be aware of anyway let's continue i'm going to copy the response from the guest and there you go now let's change the voice for the voice here i will select maybe what's your interest let's try that and for the speaker two that's gonna be what's a skill you'd like to develop what kind of problem could we solve okay let's try this one oh i don't know how to pronounce that name okay let's try that one so there is a conversation between host and guest and this is a hypothetical podcast talking about gpu shortage now when you're done with the dialogue and with all the settings you can click the run button again and just wait for ai to turn this conversation into an audio file so let's wait and see welcome back to tech market insights today we're diving into the gpu landscape the market has been wild lately what's driving this thanks for having me we're seeing unprecedented demand from ai companies training large language models requires massive compute power and they're buying gpus in bulk all right yep yeah, that's definitely a british accent so yeah that's essentially how you can use this text to speech tool within google AI studio it is an amazing tool it is uh, quite easy to use in my opinion and also it is free so if you are running our generation which is kind of difficult actually because they are very generous you can still wait for another day because the limit or credit will reset every single day unlike in 11 last where you have a certain amount of credits every month and will only reset after about 30 days but on AI studio it is going to reset every 24 hours or so so yeah that's uh an amazing alternative to Eleven Labs, and again, it is free, it is easy to use, and you can specify the style, tonality, or accent of the voices. And yeah, I guess that's basically it. That's how you can use the speech generation tool in Google AI Studio. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.